हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज़ द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ चमेली देविंग्स इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मेसी टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट मेडिसिनल केमिस्ट्री ऑफ प्रोटोन पंप इनिवेटर एंड एस टू एंटागोनिस्ट सो व्हाट इज प्रोटोन पंप इनिवेटर प्रोटोन पंप इनिवेटर मींस द एजेंट व्हिच स्टॉप द वर्किंग ऑफ प्रोटोन पंप व्हिच इज सिचुएटेड इन द म्यूकोसा ऑफ स्टोमक so we will discuss about the introduction of ppi is if inhibition of histamine receptor does not fully prevent acid secretion because acetylcholine and gastrin also separately promoted acid secretion but all these three regulator ultimately act on ppi or proton pump the pump can also dependently inhibited by which inhibit acid secretion hence ppi have a stronger acid suppression and are thus favored over s2 antagonist PPIs are irreversible antagonists too, which means once they bind to pump, it cannot regain its function anymore, and it is thus destroyed and replaced by a new one, which takes times. This makes their effect stronger and longer. Also, they have demonstrated antibacterial activity, which is an and advantage against H. pylori infection because they prevent acid secretion very strongly than H. two antagonists. they interfere absorption of drugs needing acidic condition like antifungal iron salt digoxin etc so we are coming on how this ppi works how this proton pump work we will discuss about benzimidrol ppr pro drug that converted to sulfonamide within the acidic environment of parietal cells in stomach the sulfonamide then covalently and reversibly interact with sulfhydryl group is cysteine amino acid of the binding site of the proton pump to create disulfide bond the disulfide bond between the drug and pump is not completely irreversible there are enzyme capable of reactivating the pump breaking by this disulfide bond but if this bond is made with a particular cysteine in the binding site cysteine 822 then it is ensure maximum resistant to such reduction thus incurring longer duration of action they are made into delayed release or entry coated formulation which prevent their release in stomach this is done because if they are activated in stomach then charged sulfonamide form would not easily absorbed these are the some drug which are incorporated in proton pump inhibitor one is omeprazole omeprazole second one is pentoprazole lansoprazole and rebeprazole rebeprazole is a highest demanding and highest costly ppi nowadays in the market if you see the all the structure and learn this this is the chemical conversion of ppi in the body we discussed in previous slide this benzidiazole benzimidazole is converted to sulfenamide then bind on the proton pump and converted to sulfhydryl group of proton pump If we would discuss independently about omeprazole, it's an benzimidazole pro-drug, proton pump inhibitor. Its acid inhibition activity is far stronger than H2 antagonist, such that it is incompatible with the drugs needing acidic condition for absorption. The duration of action is 24 to 72 hours, even after it has cleared from plasma due to irreversible. Its enantiomer is called ismoprazole and has more potency and three times lower clearance than the R isomer. Ismoprazole can be used against NSAID induced ulcer. What is the uses of this omeprazole used in peptic ulcer, GERD, heartburn, Jollinger Ellison syndrome? Mode of action: It activates into sulfonamide form in the environment of acid and bound to sulfhydryl group of cysteine, amino acid in the binding site of the proton pump. If we discuss about lansoprazole it is an benzimidazole proton proton pump inhibitor like omeprazole its acid inhibition activity is far stronger than h2 antagonist such that it is incompatible with drugs needing acidic condition for absorption it is highly plasma bound bioavailability is double than omeprazole mode of action it activate into sulfonamide form in acid environment and bond with two sulfhydryl groups of cysteine amino acid in the binding site of the proton pump basically used in jollinger ellison syndrome and as nice as i use induced ulcer and peptide ulcer and grd some some of more hard one also this is a pentoprazole it is an imidazole product proton pump inhibitor same like uh, 
it is highly stronger than S2 antagonist such that incompatible with the drugs needing to acidic condition for absorption. What is the uses? Uses in peptic ulcer, GRD, heart 1, Jollinger, Ellison syndrome, mode of action. It activates sulfamide form in which acid environment and bound to sulfide group of cysteine, amino acid in the binding site of the proton pump. So we are coming right now on rabiprazole. It is a ben benzimidazole product, proton pump inhibitor. Acid secretion activity is far stronger than S2 antagonist such that it is incompatible with drug needing acidic condition for absorption. It is highly plasma bound and better viability than omeprazole and this is also extensively liver metabolized. Uses, it is used mainly peptic ulcer, Jollinger Ellison syndrome, HAD1 and GRD. Mode of action ki baat, it activates sulfamide form in acid environment and bond to sulfhydryl group of cysteine amino acid in the binding site of the proton pump. So this is all about rabiprazole. This is the total summary of this all PPIs in terms of bioavailability, Tmax, plasma protein binding, plasma t half. If you will go through this, you will get more information about this. Right now we are coming on histamine S2 antagonist. Uh, what is the starting material for this S2 antagonist formation is this is guanyl histamine provided to the lead molecule. Extension of the side chain increase the S2 potency but some agonist activity remain. Replacing the basic guanidine group with the neutral thiourea yielded effective S2 antagonistic effect. Burima it lacked agonist action but was not orally absorbed. If we will talk about metimamide, it reduced PK of the ring. Reduce ionization, increase membrane permeability and absorption, and 10x more potent than bumetanide, and cause the T tautomer or predominant which interact with the S2, but causes kidney damage and granulocytopenia possibly due to the thiourea, so was replaced by isosteric vanadine. This compound, being highly basic, was 20 times less potent. Replacement of this group with a strong electron withdrawing group but more lipophilic cyanoderivative yield. This is the synthetic route for S2 antagonist formation. If you will see the starting of the reaction is guanyl histamine molecule and it is completing on semetidine. This is the potent S2 antagonist. Right now we are coming on SAR of S2 antagonist in terms of semetidine. If you will see the structure, semetridine contained diazole ring in its structure. We will talk one by one. Need and for the structure activity relationship of uh, S2 antagonist, we have required an aromatic ring with n electrons next to the side chain. The imidazole ring is not required. The other S2 antagonists don't have it. But if it is present in the T tautomer, should predominant. The T tautomer is promoted by electron donors at position 5th and the electron withdrawals at position 4. The terminal nitrogen group should be polar but not basic for maximal potency. Separation of the ring from the nitrogen group by 4 atoms gives maximal potency. Cimetidine is an extremely successful drug in treatment of ulcer. Note that electron donor methyl at C5 and electron withdrawing side chain at the C4 also the non basic cyanogarnidine terminal nitrogen. However, cimetidine has several disadvantages. It is an inhibitor of cytochrome P which is leads to many drugs interaction. It exhibit anti-adrenergic action and, and cause gynecomastia. Further, it has 60 to 70% oral viability. So, it is all about SCR of this S2 antagonist. If we will talk about this ranitidine is a furan derivative structure and isoester of imidazole with n electrons of the oxygen with 50 percent viability it is 4 to 10 time more potent than cimetidine with a longer duration of action further it has weaker cytochrome p inhibitor the tertiary amine side chain has allowed the formation of salt formatidine a thiazole derivative is 9 to 5 15 more potent than ranitidine and 40 to 60 time more potent than cimetidine. No cases of gynecomastia have been reported. It is a weak inhibitor of cytochrome P. Like ranitidine, salt can easily prepared for this compound, but its absorption is incomplete with the 40 to 50 percent viability. Nizatidine is also thiazole derivative similar to ranitidine, but more viable 90 percent with the no anti-androgenic or enzyme inhibition. 
If we will talk about receptor interaction of S2 antagonist, cationic histamine binds with the receptor by the formation of 3 hydrogen bond. The cationic nitrogen and uh, tertiary nitrogen of the imidazole ring are hydrogen donor and the para nitrogen act as a proton donor. Participation of the ammonium group in the hydrogen bonding inevitably leads to the decrease of the positive charge on ammonium group. This decrease in positive charge induces tautomeric change in the imidazole ring, resulting in a stronger binding of the nitrogen and proton released by the tertiary nitrogen. The net result in proton shift at the receptor surface which is believed to trigger the S2 stimulating effect. This mechanism calls for the presence of hydrogen atom in position 3 of histamine and recall that 3-methyl histamine is unable to stimulate the receptor. So, this is all about the S2 receptor interaction of S2 antagonist. So, it is all about the uh, total medicinal chemistry which are related with uh, PPIs and S2 antagonists we discussed. If you want to more videos about the medicinal chemistry, please subscribe the channel and stay tuned with us. Thank you.